How's it going everybody? My name is Sergeant Staff Sergeant Ferguson. I am an Army recruiter in Prescott Valley, Arizona. This is Specialist McCreary. Hello, I'm a 17 Charlie Cyber Operations Specialist. How is life as a 17 Charlie? Um, it's pretty good honestly. Uh, after training and everything, I go to my unit. I've been told that we're going to be doing PTs Monday and Friday. Uh, we PT on our own otherwise. It's really good. It's a really good life. All right. How was a uh, basic training leading up to your your MOS school? Uh, for me, it wasn't that challenging, but there was a few a uh, few things I've struggled with. Um, some obstacle courses and things uh, along those natures. Since I wasn't the most physically active up until now. Would you say that your physical fitness improved through basic training? I would definitely say that. Okay. Um, as far as your job school, what would you say was the best and worst parts of job training? Um, I'd say probably the worst part of job training was the 5 a.m. PT, but that was, you know, you get used to that. The best part was the fact that uh, our schoolhouse allowed us to take certification courses such as the CompTIA Net Plus, Sec Plus, A Plus, um, while we were there since it is a year long. So you'd say that the opportunity to take certifications well at your job school is pretty easy to do? Yes. Awesome. Uh, what was the reason why you joined the Army? Well, my entire family served. Uh, my grandmother was Air Force. My grandfather was Army though. and uh, They both influenced me. Uh, other reasons are to travel, see the world, have uh, the military pay for my education and try to better myself and give back to the community. So before the Army, I understand that you actually had a lot of education already. Um, what would you say, how did that influence your decision in joining? Because you basically already had a degree coming in. Well, even though I had my degree, I was job hunting until I came in and I've got over 100 no's or no responses from companies and corporations even though I've put in for uh, entry-level positions. So you'd say that because you had no work experience it was kind of hard to be competitive against other people? Just yep. school enough? School alone wasn't enough? That's correct. Yep, so the military at least helps you with that, yep. building that resume. Um, how was the overall enlistment process? From the beginning of walking in here to going down to MEPS, how did that all go for you? Um, it was relatively uh, quick and simple. I did need a waiver for my eyesight, but after talking with the recruiters here, they were able to get me that waiver within a month and send me down to MEPS to take the ASVAB and any other tests I needed for my job. Okay. About how long between coming into the office and you shipping off was it about? say it was about a month long, two, two weeks to four weeks, somewhere in that ballpark. Okay. Sounds like it was pretty easy overall. Were you mentally ready and prepared to ship off when it was time? I'd say I was, yes. You were prepared as far as like us helping you get in the like, right mindset? Yep. Okay. How was your recruiter? Uh, my recruiter is great. They uh, sat me down, talked with me about the different jobs. They had me take a um, practice ASVAB and then from that kind of gave me an idea of what I would score on the ASVAB and what jobs I would have uh, potential access to. And they also gave me resources so I could study on my own. Nice. One last question, something that came to mind. Um, being that you already did have education and a degree, would you say that you got a lot of college credits out of school to maybe pursue another degree? Yep. Everything converts to college credits, right? Yeah, so after basic training and my uh, individual training for my job, I would say I'd have enough college credit to get an associate's degree in cybersecurity. So I'm looking to take those credits and either apply them towards that or a master's degree down the line. Nice, sounds great.